that concludes our week three preview. Before we end the show, we just want to have our five teams, our top five teams going into week three. If you want me to start, I can. If you want to go first, you can as well. Lead us off. So at number five, I have a team with a miraculous comeback last week. Tua played out of his mind. They got the fastest wide receiver core in the history of the NFL. I got the Dolphins at number five. They played really well. They have their true test against the Bills this upcoming week. They took care of business against the Patriots. They came back against the Ravens. Very impressed. This is their true test. We'll see how good they play against the Super Bowl favorites. I have the the Dolphins at five. I think they're looking really good. I have the San Francisco 49ers at five. I think their team got rejuvenated. I think their defense looks stout this year. And they're going to be able to keep them in a lot of games. Kyle Shanahan, you have that offense. This is a team that had a really bad start last year. I think they were three and six, came back, went to the conference championship. Whenever Jimmy G starts and plays the whole season, you either get to the Super Bowl or the conference championship. I think that's another reason to love the Niners this season. They've been one of the most consistently great teams in the regular season and postseason. The record with. Jimmy G starting and without him leads me to believe that they are a top five team. Yeah, that's a good pick. Number four, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, this is somebody that can definitely move up on this ranking. Uh, the more I see from them, the more they get their uh, momentum going. However, I am concerned with their offensive line and some of their injuries on their receiver core. Brady's faced much worse in the past, so I'm not overly worried. However, their defense is the number one of the league from what I've seen so far out of their mind. I mean, they completely crunched um, the Cowboys and the Saints. So, I have the Bucks at number four. The defense looks great. Brady, offense, they're going to do great. Yeah. At number four of the Philadelphia Eagles, I think they don't have a hole on defense. I love their linebackers. I love their defensive line. They have a good front seven. Great um, corners. They have great corners on their team. And we saw Darius Slay take Justin Jefferson out of a game. That is a Super Bowl winning skill, especially when you have athletes like A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and you have Dallas Goddard at tight end. Two pretty good running backs, and Jalen Hurts is a threat in the running game as well, and his passing gets better every single year. I also love their head coach. Oh, yeah, 100%. I like them a lot, too. Um, I have the Chiefs at number three. I really like what I've seen from them. They've played very well against the Chargers. And then last week, they took care of business against the... They faced the... What did they face again in last week? week Cardinals. Cardinals, that's right. Took care of business. So... Yeah. Care of business. They... Dominated them. Yeah, they dominated. So, I like the Chiefs at number three. Patty Mahomes proved Tyreek Hill was a great addition to the team. But... They're doing just fine without them. Like they're how their defense is played. I got the Chiefs at three. At number three, I think that's a great pick, but I have the Buffalo Bills at number three. I think okay. they've dominated both their opponents, but um, they haven't been as successful as the two teams ahead of them. And I think both teams have better quarterbacks at the helm on those teams. And the running game simply isn't there yet. So we'll need to see them continue to get better because in the past, the Bills have either blown teams out or you lose to the Jags 9-6. to six. So I need to see that Bills continue to evolve this year against probably different competition. That's why I have these teams ahead of them. Number two, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. Whoa. Everything you mentioned to them, well, if we're basing it just on these first two games, yeah, they score almost 40 points against the, the Lions. They look amazing. Jalen Hurts looks like his arm has gotten much better. He's a lot more accurate. The addition of A.J. Brown looks like a home run for him. Um, they drafted very well. They have a bunch of good players on defense. Even their run game has been effective, which in the years past it hasn't been. Um, if we're basing it based on these last two games, these guys have easily the most momentum. They go into the Commanders in Week 3. I think they get a win. It'll be 3-0. and I like the Eagles at number 2. Yeah, another thing to Jalen Hurts' credit. I watched him at Alabama and felt like he really couldn't throw the ball at all. Yeah. And he's a coach's son, so he's committed to continually getting better each game. Then he found his way with Lincoln Riley. 
And the Eagles, credit to them for taking their time and developing him. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of credit to Nick Sirianni. Yeah. At number two, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. I think their defense looks a lot better um, early in the season than it has in years past, which is why it's simply terrifying because they hit on their top draft pick in George Karloftis. And then bringing in Justin Reed from the Texans at safety. Seems like that defense has more pep. They have more players that can make plays besides just Chris Jones, who's your defensive tackle. So overall, Chiefs, better on defense. You lose Tyreek Hill, but you put a bunch of twos around Travis Kelsey. And I feel like Mahomes is playing a lot more self-aware and trying to turn the ball over less. Uh, than he did earlier last year. And he's on a mission to show, yes, I am the best player in football. And I think he is, and he's going to show us that. I will say, I think he's playing extremely efficient. And if he keeps down the path that he's doing, I think you could have an Aaron Rodgers-like season where he throws 40 touchdowns and maybe five picks. Yeah, which that'd be huge for him. Yeah, especially because he usually averages about 10. So that's something that we definitely look out for. My number one team... To no surprise, the Buffalo Bills, they've outscored their opponents, their two opponents, 72 to 17. They've blown the brakes off of them. Their defenses look fantastic. Um, their offense has been moving smoothly. Stefan Diggs had a monster game last game. Gabriel Davis has been a freak for him. It looks like it's effortless for them. So I think the Bills at the moment are the best team. We'll see how they face against the Dolphins. Those two teams will be a, a lot of We'll iron out a lot of the kinks and which team is legit going into the first quarter of the season. And right now I have the Bills as the best team in the NFL. Yeah, I can agree with that. No problems with putting them number one with how they played, but I have Tampa Bay Buccaneers as the number one team simply because I think they have the best defense in football. And when it comes to winning a Super Bowl, that's the most important skill. Your defense is always going to keep you in games and keep you in striking distance. And when you have the most clutch quarterback, the Michael Jordan of football and Tom Brady, greatest player of all time, and then you have Mike Evans, who their chemistry is scary good now. And he's his go-to guy, and he's a jump ball guy you can't cover. Julio Jones, fastest time since 2020. Looks like he's getting back into shape. Leonard Fournette looks awesome this year. He looks like the high draft pick he was meant to be. And then when Chris Godwin comes back, Hopefully not dropping passes. This team is going to be terrifying. So Tampa Bay Buccaneers overall have the most success in the past few years besides the Rams. And I think they were a few drop interceptions away from winning that game. And I think give it another shot, run it back, Bucks win and go to the Super Bowl. I have the Bucs and the Chiefs as the favorites to get to the Super Bowl at this point in the season as my top two teams. 